Hi guys, massive welcome back to UK Beef TV's Best of Brit Bodybuilding uh, show. And today we have the extreme honor and privilege of being joined by one of the UK's, if, if not the leading masters bodybuilders. Next one, Nick, how are you doing? Thank you, Z. Uh, thanks for the welcome and thanks for inviting me down. Uh, I'm very good. Uh, I'm still uh, buzzing. Uh, <laughs> still not, you know, it's still not real, uh, to be fair. Uh, you know, it's not really sunk in. Uh, starting to sink in, you know, coming down here today, you know, that, uh, that, that makes it real. But... Uh, yeah, I'm uh, absolutely made up over the moon, <laughs> over the moon. So, so guys, like we, we, we like there's so much to 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 to, to that we want to hear for, hear from about with Nick. But but um, you know you've had a cracking season, and we will get onto that. But before we do, I want to know first of all, what's your secret? How <laughs> Nick, this just if if you don't mind, how old are you? And and how how have you stayed looking anything as incredible as as you are? So I'm 60. I'm 61 in, in January. Um, you know, I, I I look after myself. I, I train hard. Uh, I, I I take the rest and recovery very seriously as well. Yeah. Um, I think the reason I look, uh, I've got a quite a fresh looking physique is I, I got into the bodybuilding game relatively late. So I've got no pec tears. I've got yeah. really, you know, the the feedback that I got from the judges was. You've got a very fresh-looking physique, yeah. And, yeah, and and that's because I train. I train smart. By God, I do. I train heavy. I train heavy, <laughs> but you know, a lot of time under tension stuff and what have you. Um, you know, I, I, I take all the right supplements and what have you. And as we were talking earlier, Z, yeah. I think the the big difference this year has been I've sorted out my diet and nutrition, but also my digestive system. Mm. You know, and and you know. Just going into a bit of detail there, yeah. um, you know, I, I, you know, I won the Arnold's in 2018. Yeah. Um, Fifteen weeks prior to winning that, I was in hospital with ulcerative well, colitis. Well, well. Okay. Um, how I ever won that, I don't know. But since then, I was on uh, pharmaceutical medication called amaprazole, which is an antiacid. Right. Okay, so it dampens down your your stomach acid. So your stomach's got acid, in which yeah, breaks down the food. So. But but and that was giving me problems with uh, you know ulcers in, in my esophagus and, and, and my colon. But uh, we're getting into a little bit of uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's good. I, I want to know how it's done because <laughs> yeah. I, I genuinely look at, every time I see your physique on stage, especially the season. I'm like, how? I'm scratching my head trying to figure out how yeah. it's possible. So go on, so, go on. so so so. You know, I, I, I looked at this and I thought, hang on a minute, you need acid to digest and assimilate your food properly. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I dumped all the all, all the prescription medications. Wow. wow. And I had a good friend who uh, advised on things like, you know, herbal remedies. So um, things like ashwagandha, uh, mushroom, uh, you know, mushroom tablets, um, lion's mane, you know. Wow. All wow. that sort of stuff. Wow. Over a period of two months, I just started to assimilate my food and I grew, I did a 20 week prep and I just grew into it. I was putting muscle on and my metabolic rate was firing. I was dieting on 3000 calories a day, losing body fat. Wow. Uh, training six days a week. And it was just like, there was guys in the gym who was dieting on 1200 calories and it was like, how are you doing this Nick? And I put it down to the fact <laughs> I was assimilating my food properly. Yeah. And it was I was using that to, 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 to you know to build muscle at the same time as lose body fat. Can I, can you believe I never did a minute's cardio? No way. That's, that is, that is, <laughs> like I was going to say, how much cardio you do? That is one hundred percent. So, 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 so prior, prior to your hospitalisation, what what were the symptoms you had? What problems? What let you know there was something wrong? What what what, what were you going through? I I, 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 I wasn't gaining muscle. Uh, I, I I felt terrible and. Back in 2018, I was actually passing blue. So, really? Yeah, well, and that was the signal to, you know, uh, I, I actually went into hospital and, uh, um, you know, I, I, I was on a drip. I had a liver and kidney failure because I was so severely dehydrated. Wow. Uh, and what have you. And then, as I said, I won the Arnold's in 2018 for the first time, 15 16, weeks later. 16 weeks, 16 weeks later, yeah. Um, and then since then, you know, we've had the lockdowns and what have you. And, you know, I've trained and I've done well, but it's only this last really six months since I've done, sorted out the digestion problems. I've really just gone boom over the last, well, you know, and, and, you know, we'll get onto it later. But, you know, 60 being given a pro card, people might think, 
What's she going to do with it? I think I've still got potential. <laughs> I, so, so we we sort of jumped the gun. Yeah, I mean, sorry. from from from, make that like like you say it like you like I'm sort of still trying to process it. You, you're saying it like it's an everyday sort of thing. Like you you, you out the hospital onto onto the, the Arnold stage winning it. You say it like it's so you know it's it's every day. It's it's not every day, mate. That's that's incredible. Um, it, it really is. So, so from 2018, obviously, um, if, if you could just sort of catch up, catch us up for, on the shows we've done, and then we'll sort of dig into them a little bit. You did the Arnold's in 2018. You won so, that. roll back to the to the start. I I, I got into bodybuilding relatively late. Yep. I played football uh, as a youngster, cricket till I was 40. So I was all I've always been a competitive sportsman. Um, I didn't get into the gym until I was till I was 40. Well, I didn't start training hard until I was 50. Bodybuilding until I was 50. Wow. Okay. I did my first competition, um, the uh, the Apollo in Kettering, when I was 55. Wow. Two years later, I won the Arnold Classic. Wow. In 2018. Sorry, tw- that's, that's 2018. That's really late start. It is. That's a really late yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. 2018. The year I won the, the Arnolds, I came second in the... Uh, second in the... Sorry, just backtrack. The first British I did, I came fourth. Well, that gave me the belief that I could probably do this. Your first British final, fourth. Came, well, yeah. Sorry. So let's just run through the shows. Yeah. Uh, I did the uh, the Apollo uh, as an over fifties. Won that. That was in the May of 2018. Wow. I then thought, uh, while I'm in shape, I'll do the Cumbria Classic. So yeah. me and my wife, we travelled five hours all the way up the following week and did the Cumbria Classic yeah. as a UK BFF qualifier yeah. uh, and uh, then had to die all the way through till October yeah. and came fourth in my first British final. I remember the lineup: Pat Warner, British <laughs> no legend. Way. Uh, you know, Paul Rowe won it that year. Wow. Uh, so I was standing against some big boys. Yeah, you did legends. In and the uh, that gave me thing. So that gave me the invite to the uh, to the worlds. Yeah. My first world championships, I came second. Wow. And that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, does that, how does that suck? Like, what, what were you expecting? What, what were you hoping for? What it's, was it? It's first losers, in. You know, I, I don't do losing. <laughs> but, I mean, that's a big jump, like, in, in yeah. the world. You know, that's a big jump. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, you know. I've been competing six years and I've just won the IFBB Worlds. It's not real, is it? I'm, I'm trying to... I'm sort of sat and trying know, to work it here. I know, I know, I know. I've, I've looked at your physique and I thought, how is that... Point? Like, that's like a, a 30, 40-year-old's physique. App. Like, app. how's it... Who's, who's, who's funny? Your, your physique is incredible, so I can understand why you demand so much of yourself. Um, now, like, one of the reasons... One of the reasons I'm, I'm so pleased... Um, to, to have you on, on today is because you've had an incredible season this year. Um, Phenomenal. Come, coming off the back of lockdown, I'm, I'm looking at all, at all these physiques thinking, but hang on a minute, we, like everyone's had gone through lockdown, it, it's been a sort of rough couple of years, um, 12, 12 to 18 months. Um, you've come off lockdown and you've come not just, you, you, you've won the Arnolds. I, I, I don't want to take too much of, to, to give too much away. You've won the Arnolds this year yeah. um, in Seville. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, I want to hear about that because um, we, we've been watching it on social media it's all sort of playing out and you've recently won the world championships and I'm looking at your physique thinking he, he, he looks like he's aging like he's aging back he's, he's getting better and better I, it's, it, it, it doesn't but you look phenomenal you look phenomenal thank you Zay. thank you I, I wanted to know the reason I'm so buzzing is that I want to know how, how you've done it like this season in particular your training nitty gritty as possible just so that the guys can, can sort of if, if anyone's watching they can sort of take a, a leaf out of your book um and and really just sort of look look at what you've done and say hang on i can do that if you could yeah. sure, sure. so it, it, there's not one there's not one thing in particular i did mention the fact that i sorted my diet out that, yeah. that's had a massive positive effect but it's you know if anybody knows me they know i'm a very detailed anal person yeah, yeah. everything is logged down on a spreadsheet well, well. you know Every single thing, diet, nutrition, supplements, special supplements, you know, dairy sack PEDs, and, you know, all of that, is, you know, and, uh, you know, my, my training regime, you know, my rest and recovery, you know, uh, it, it's literally, it's right down to the wow. nth, nth, nth degree. Uh, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I train hard, but, you know, I listen to my body, so, um, I'll probably digress a little bit here, but, you know, leading up to the Arnold's, 
you know, I felt seven weeks out, I was burning out. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I took my wife and myself to Scotland. And we just literally chilled out with the dogs. Really? And, you know, we didn't do, I didn't, <coughs> I didn't hit a weight. I didn't hit a protein shake. I was off my diet. So, so have you got, do you, do you work with a coach? Have you, no, do you, do you coach? I, I, I'm self prep. So coming back from, just finishing off on that, coming back from Scotland, I came back, I was fresh, I was ready to go. The seven weeks came in, ready for the Arnold's, smashed the last seven weeks. Well. Dare I say, and there's a guy called Nick Papper who's a coach down at, know. Uh, you know, Pumping Nick, Iron. Pumping Pumping Iron. Iron. He'll tell me not to say this, but uh, <laughs> I actually did the Arnold's as a warm up for, for the world. Now, that may be a little bit derogatory, <laughs> but to go and win the Arnold's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty good, 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 good feat. Sorry, what was your question, Zay? No, no, I'm just, I'm just curious to, to, to find out what, what your thinking was behind taking the break to Scotland. Did, did you, did your coach say that? Or was no, no. So, thinking? answer to your question, I, I, I'm self prepped. Uh, you know, a very good friend of mine, Brandon Marjoram, ex-British champion. Uh, he used to be my prep coach, uh, but since I had the ulcerative colitis, so I, I have to watch what I eat. So uh, not so much now. Now I'm on the herbal remedies because uh, my, my I've got the acid to to actually imbalance. Um, so you know I I couldn't <coughs> eat anything. So I was on a, a low low uh, insoluble fibre, a low uh, FODMAP. So FODMAP is ferment foods that ferment. Yeah. So if you imagine an apple for, in an orchard bubbling yeah. away with wasps. <coughs> I couldn't eat things like strawberries because they've got pips in. Really? When I was in hospital... You, you just wouldn't break down? No, it wouldn't. Well, it would irritate your gut. Wait, wait. So, uh, when I was in hospital, uh, there was, you know, stuff like... I was peeling the skins off peas because they were, they're, they're, they're insoluble. You can't break them down. No. So, you know, <laughs> when, when I went back to Brandon, uh, my, my coach at the time, he, <coughs> you know, um, I said, look, I want to do the Arnold's in 15, 16 weeks' time. And he, he used the analogy, he said, we know where to get to, but it's like a, a ship sailing through fog. We haven't got a clue how to get there. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, let's just take each day as it comes. And afterwards, he, he said to me, he said, I never thought anybody would do that, yeah. achieve that. And I won it in 2018. So, um, you know, so f since then, he said, look, I can't help you with your diet. Mm. So since 2018, I've prepped myself. Wow. Well, well. You know, I hold myself accountable, you know, through the spreadsheets and my training, diet, you know, my logs and my diet and what have you. Special mention to my wife, Linda. She preps all my food. <laughs> so I've got, to, I've got to get that in there. Uh, she buys it, she preps it, she does everything. But I do use Brandon uh, for looking, looking at me in the gym, le le leading up to the, you know, just as a set, set of eyes. I can't see whether my glutes are in or not. Yeah. I, I can, but, but you, you know, know you need that. He, he, he'll tell you, Nick, you're there, you, you, you know, another couple of pounds and your glutes will be in, you know. So I, I use Brandon for that and he, he's a good friend and, you know, uh, and he said, if you come in the same as you did in 2018, which was in the Masters 55 to 60 category, in the fullness that you've got now, which is more better than 2018, mm. you stand a chance of winning this. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, there was one day I remember, I, I took, my, took my shirt. And my did, did you believe him when he said that? Yeah, because yeah. he, he doesn't blow smoke. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't blow smoke. And there was once when I was in the gym and I, I took my top off and, I, you know, I, I pulled my trunks up and he just went, oh. <laughs> and I knew I was ready. I knew I was ready. And he said, go win it. Yeah. 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 So that was, yeah. So, so seven weeks out from, from this year's Arnold, you took a break, you came back and you were firing on all cylinders, you feel? Yeah, yeah I was firing on all cylinders. Uh, I thought I was ready, but looking at the worlds, I, 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 I knew I could get better. Uh, well, at the time, I, I, I thought I'd had enough to win it, uh, but you'd never know. So the Arnolds this year... So that was in Seville, so that was your first show of the year? That was my first show of the year. I mean, just talk us through that weekend, because it's, 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 it's always tricky. Oh. Travelling and then competing abroad because you've got water and you've got different um, humidity and there's so many different factors. Talk us through um, sort of, you know, just that little period running into to, to the, the Arnold's, how that was. Yeah. Just, just, just let's talk about that because I want to know. That, that's a great question because Arnold Seville was a totally different experience to Santa Susana the world. So Arnold Seville, um, you know, it was an awesome experience. Bigger and better than the first Arnold's, I mm. have to say. You know, uh, I always fly out a day early mm. uh, 
to make sure that you know I get there, I get the food, I get to the supermarket, I get registered early. You know, if there's any you know delays in flights, that you know, and I, I keep the stress levels down. So we get to Seville, and uh, you know, we get registered. You know, Seville, 32 degrees, great, <laughs> awesome. You know, what a place to compete. Uh, fair play to the IFBB. Yeah. Uh, they do choose some fantastic mm. venues. Um, so the day before the show, we go and register, or we rock up at the venue. Oh, gee, it's like big facade with fountains, gold dome. I mean, the real deal, you know, a hell of a venue. I can't remember how many athletes there were, but it was a hell of a hell of a hell of a show. Yeah. Uh, of course, they've got all the uh, expo going on as well. Yeah, yeah so it's the idol that supports it. Yeah, so uh, on that day, I was fortunate that masters were on early. Okay, so you know that's always good. You wake up, you, you, you're flat, you're dry, you've carved up from the day before, you're ready to go. Totally different for the worlds, which I'll talk about mm. later. Uh, so on that show, I think there was it was a smaller lineup, but it was six athletes. But again, I think there was three world champions in that, wow. including uh, Rafael Vera. Wow. You probably wow. know Rafael. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, a yeah. bit of an IFBB legend. He's, he's, he's um, a legend. He goes back. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, there was a, a a guy from Malta who was a big dude, dude about eight kilos heavier than me. You know what it's like backstage. You, yeah. you look at it and you look, he's bigger than me. He's more ripped than me. And, you know, it plays with your mind. Yeah. Uh, what, what were you thinking? Were you thinking only... What, 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 what's going through your mind mentally? How, how did you... How did you... I'm, and I, was actually, I, I was actually world worst at the world. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, you're, I, I, I tell everybody... Just do your thing. Don't look at anybody else. You look at it very. You know, but then you do it yourself. It's just, it's like, you know, he's got a great back. He's got that and what have you. And, you know, he just plays my games. You know, I think, oh, I haven't got a chance here. You know, Jean Dulan from France, he was ripped. He came second to me at the Arnolds. And I think, oh, God. Uh, I don't, so so I don't. while you were backstage, did you think for a minute, like, I might not win this? I might yeah, not. absolutely. 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 And then, you know, uh, I went out on the stage and, you know, um, again, we'll talk about the world where I won by a massive 14 points <laughs> against the 16-man lineup. I never believed that. But in the Arnolds, you know, um, some friends, uh, um, Martin Kelly, the, the, the IFB yeah, my, del delegate who came out with us, he said, Nick, you had the overall package. You've got a tight waist, you've got the, the X frame, you've got broad shoulders, you, you've got the, you know, good quads. You blew them away. Yeah. Uh, you know, as soon as you walked on stage, we knew you were the winner. I never see that. Really? I never <laughs> see that. I don't know whether I've got uh, some sort of body dysmorphia or what, but, <laughs> you know, um, and there was a good guy, Richard Reader, on, on the, uh, the, the, the world trip. He said, I see you as a monster. I don't see it. But now, I probably should start believing a bit. I, 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 think, I think so. I think so. I mean, I, you know, I, I think um, it, 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 it does so many people proud um, seeing British bodybuilders competing, not just competing, but, but blowing the competition away on stage internationally. Yeah. Um, I, I was just buzzing. We've we just been brimming to it. Because it's like a slow motion, because we, we, we get to watch it bit by bit as it comes out. So, but, but for you, it's obviously a lot more intense. So, so you're you're there. They've just called your name, um, <laughs> the winner of the Arnold Masters Classic. <laughs> Next one. What, what what's going through your mind? Um, <laughs> you must have been. I, I, I can't imagine. I, I I immediately turned to the back of the stage and I burst into tears. I'll be honest. Um, and I thought, I've got that in the bag. Nobody can take that away from me. Two times Arnold Classic champion. Mm. That meant so much. Knowing that I got the worlds coming up, knowing that the the worlds is bigger, um, I must say this: Wanda Tierney, I love Wanda to bits. Yeah, <laughs> she's always said, Nick, you've won the world, uh, you've won the Arnolds, but the worlds is bigger. And <laughs> that has stuck in my mind, and that has given me the drive and the motivation to go. And, and, that's, and win. I think that's what you need to hear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. big shout out to the UK BFF because they've they've, oh. they've obviously. Um, got you over to San Susana. They, 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 they've been backing you for quite a while, to be honest. Um, I, I, I can't speak highly enough of the UK BFF. They, they are absolutely <laughs> superb. You know, we all know. Without getting to the politics, you know, it's the route to the proper IFBB, uh, in my opinion. You know, uh, you know, they backed me. They fully funded me for both the all, well, all my international shows. You know, flights, hotels, the lot. So, you know, the Arnold, two Arnold Classics. 
I think it's three world championships well, now. Well. You know, so that's five competitions, and they don't come cheap. So mm. they back me, and I always said I'll repay you with trophies. Yeah. <laughs> and I am done. I am done. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to meeting up with the rest of the UKBFT, UKBFF team. You know, you know, Carl, Helen Panther, you know, Sugar, yeah. you know, Zeus, everybody. You know, I'm, I'm going to miss a few names out. John Plum and all that. I mean, it's just it's a you, long list. Isn't you know, it's a long list. But I'm really part of that family now, and uh, you know, can't wait. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take up my judging badge as well with yeah, it. Yeah, fantastic. You know, and repay the guys with that. So uh, yeah, you know. Great. So, how did I feel? You know, I knew I'd won that, and I knew that was in the bag. And that was that. I said I did the Arnold's as a bit of a warm up. I also did it so I'd got, you know, that type two titles under my belt, yeah. knowing full well that the worlds might be a step too far. Yeah. But it wasn't. <laughs> you know. So it was. <laughs> so, 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 so Susanna, how, how, that was Setting Susanna the week on past. How many week? How many weeks? There was seven those? weeks between. Seven weeks between. Them. Seven weeks between. Uh, so. You know, I think once you've competed once, you've gone through that process, <coughs> you know, it, you, say, you compete twice, you get harder yeah. for the second show. You definitely get harder. You've got another seven weeks of dieting, you know. Um, a couple of people said to me, focus on one show, you know, put all your eggs in that one basket. <laughs> No, the, no. The, the was was a massive show in San Francisco. Was a huge show. I mean, how, how many athletes? If you could tell us now a little bit about the worlds, and, and you were saying that there were some differences between the shows, just just let us know from your sort. Of yeah. So the worlds uh, again in Santa Susana, Spain. Um, it was actually billed as the biggest show in history. Now, obviously, it's not got the statue of the Olympia, but from a numbers perspective, it was gi gi ginormous. It was massive. Mm. I mean, mm. there's, I think there was two thousand athletes from one hundred and ninety-seven countries. <coughs> You know, wow. we we went out, we flew out. On that's the, like the Olympics of buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it? Like, uh, like, we, we flew, well, the, there was an Olympic uh, committee there. Well, wow. You know, part of the IFBB, you know, Olympic co committee was actually there. So we flew out on the Tuesday. After mention, flew out with, uh, obviously, my son, Sam. Uh, it was immense help backstage. I'll talk about that later. But also Cassandra Bacon yeah, Cass, and uh, Anne Bulmer. Now, Cass, I'd competed with in Seville, yeah. and we have built up such a friendship. Yeah, she, she, we, we, were gonna, we were trying to get you both here on the same day. She, she'll be in tomorrow, but what was that like competing with? Because she's cool. C Cassandra has not been, similar to me, not been competing yeah. that long. Uh, the most humble, kindest person you can meet, you know, and got massive potential massive potential she's, she's competing in the uh well I, I, dare, I won't say her age but she's close on competing on she, masters she, 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 she competes masters in Ma masters well, body fitness master bo she's master, it competes master in master masters, masters body fitness, fitness. Master body fitness. if you look at her she, she, she's 26 you know and, and unreal and un unreal she, uh, but a lovely girl and, yeah uh, <laughs> you know before i take you through the story of, of the uh, of the worlds we trained in a gym the night before the worlds right Cassandra bought my last gym session. I said, no, I'm paying for that. She said, no, <laughs> I am. Lovely she said, I'm doing it for me. I want to be able to say that I bought the world championship his last training <laughs> session. And I love it a bit. She's absolutely yeah, yeah, she's diamond, diamond. So we flew out on the Tuesday with Cassandra and, uh, and Sam. And, um, and then we checked in, uh, had a couple of training sessions in a hotel nearby. Um, there were some th three Serbian lads were there who were literally blown away by my, my physique. That gave me a bit of confidence going into the next day. Well, two days later. Uh, and uh, what else? So, uh, yeah, we got registered. Went back to the hotel. There was bodies everywhere. Really? Literally. There were people who were, were, were booking into the hotel like 12, 1 o'clock at night. Well, It was well, mad. It was heaving. Heaving, heaving. It was such a big event. <laughs> such a, but I have to say... Once you got to the venue, it ran like clockwork. Yeah. Well organised, just like a machine. It was, yeah. It's fantastic. But that's when it really hit home the magnitude of what this competition how, was. How, how did you see, how did you feel again, like seeing the scale of it? Were you thinking, oh, I might be out of my day? Like, 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 just sort of nerves that you might not know, might, might not know what was in the back. No, I didn't feel out of my depth. It, it was a bit like, because I've been there before. I, I'd competed in Santa Susana before, which is a benefit. So you know... The, you know you know the hotel you know the venue you know the bus to get the hotel it's a, from the hotel to the venue you, you know where the supermarket is all that so you know seeing it it was like but it did hit home when uh, on the on the Wednesday night the athletes list came out 
<laughs> and you sit in your hotel room, and, and it normally comes out at ten o'clock at night, yeah. right? It, it came out at one, one o'clock, twelve, one o'clock. So you were waiting up there. <laughs> I, I did actually wait. I did actually see the athletes list. Sixteen athletes from twelve different countries. My name was in the middle, so I thought, ah, positive, I'm in centre stage. <laughs> that was a positive. So when I first walk on, they're going to see me. <laughs> yeah. So that was a positive. Um, and then I looked down, Spain, Germany, Italy, Poland, South, South Africa. I thought, yeah. So what do you do? You get onto Facebook and, and you start <laughs> look, looking. Now, I've competed internationally a few times, so yeah. I know the big names. Um, Roberto Massagali from Italy won it last year. God bless him, didn't even make the top six. Wow. So, you know, that shows the standard. Well. Uh, you know, there were some big names. Eric Gerst from France, who, who came second, who came runner-up. He was on there. He was 98 kilos, five wow. kilos better than me. Turns up the next day, he's, he's pumping up next to me. <laughs> so we're, 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 we're eyeballing everybody. And my son Sam saying, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You've got a better package. Yeah, but look at his back. Yeah, but... Dad, you've got the better package. Sounds a good lad, sounds a good lad. He's a top man, top man. So, uh, yeah, so a mixture of emotions that I thought, yeah, this, this is good. Because if someone's got five, six kilos on you, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Stage and you see it sort yeah. of close. Well, e even Roberto was six kilos heavier than me. But Sam said, he said, he's out of shape, Dad. You're going to beat him. Right. And, and Martin come back and he said you've got the overall best package man mm. but I don't believe it there's a surreal moment that I've got to tell you about in a minute yeah. so um, so this is the athletes list so you, you, you know you, you, you get your head back down and then the difference between uh, Seville and Santa Susana was we were the last class there was 300 categories over four days well day one which was the, uh, the, the that's a huge show that's oh. Huge event. Day one was the Masters. We were, we were on the Thursday. So we flew out on the Tuesday, registered on the Wednesday, on the Thursday, which was great because once the show was out of the way, we, we could go and have a, have a beer and in, have a holiday and enjoy it. But there was a job to be done first. Get this. So uh, on, the, on, the, on the Thursday, uh, so athletes list, put that to one side. And then... Uh, on the on the on the day of the show, you know, it turns out we were the last category on. Wow! So different experience. So normally, as I said, you wake up, you know, you go straight on stage, nice flat stomach, you know, all carved up. So we had to have a different plan, you know, to stay flat, stay tight, but still stay full. Yeah. It turns out we actually went on stage at 11 p.m. Wow! 11 p.m. I, when I came off stage, I was buzzing. Everybody else was absolutely shattered. But, uh, you know, 11 p.m. at night. So I was. I had a massive breakfast. Yeah. And then just grazed throughout the day, you know. Um, so so you, you, you literally peek yourself into the show, is that right? So, so you, so you... Right. So this, this year was totally different. A lot of people won't believe me, but I didn't do a peak week. Zero Pete Week. <laughs> Does that work? Now you you know you, you obviously know of a guy called John Hodgson. I know John. Yeah, I know John, 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 John and, and and you know there's a guy called Lane Norton as well. He was a yeah. famous natural bodybuilder. Your body doesn't like change. You know you know water. I found when I first competed, I used to drink 13 liters of water a day when I won the Apollo back in 2018. During that peak week. During that peak week, 13 week. liters a day. Water loading. I was absolutely shredded, but I was flat because mm. it was washing me out. You know, I was, I was, I was, I was weeing every 20 minutes. Mm. I couldn't mm. hold the carbs in. So for the, Ar for the Arnolds, I did a slightly different strategy. I drank four liters. Well. Right. I weighed in on the Thursday, 93 kilos, competed on the Friday, Woke up at six o'clock, I was 91 kilos. Well, wow. So I was still dropping water, right? Now, I know it's not healthy. I normally only drink about two litres a day. I know I should drink more. Yeah. So for the world, no carb depletion, no water load, <laughs> no <laughs> sodium or potassium cool. depletion. It was just another day at the gym. If you look good in the gym, why change it? Mm. I literally stood on stage as I looked in the gym. Wow. Right? The only, uh, I, 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 because I dropped that 
water at the Arnold's, I had two litres of water the day before, like I did normally, and I drank normally throughout the day on the show. That must feel much more comfortable than, than your traditional sort absolutely, of... Absolutely, absolutely. You're absolutely right, Z. So it's much more, it's less stress. You haven't got to keep logging down. I've had two litres, three mm. litres, four mm. litres. But it is hard to hold your nerve. Mm. You're thinking, I'm not doing a peak week. Mm. I'm not doing a peak week. Could I be tighter? But I, it, it was so much less stressful. A bit. So much less stressful. It was, it, you know, and, you know, I was a lot fuller. I was a lot fuller uh, because, you know, I wasn't, you know, I, I, you know, the only thing I did was have a big kick, kick-ass cookie the night before. Really? And that's all I did. But knowing full well I'd got, a, a, I'd got 12 hours for it to get out of my system, but still fill me up. So, wow. Well, so you know, to win the IFB World Championships with no peak week. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm yeah. trying to work it out in my head. Like, like there's always like these little error messages. Thinking, how does that work? Like, yeah. like it's, 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 but but you know, I, I can see, I can see what you mean. Because the thing is, I I can believe it because I've seen, I've seen your stage shots. I've seen the line. Like, <laughs> so, so it's not we'll like do another interview on how I did it. If you want, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like I can believe you've done it. I'm just trying to figure out how it's done. So Martin Kelly's come back to you and said, "Mate, you, you've got the best package. Sam's telling you you're going to win this. Dad, you got you got this." You step out on stage. What was it like? It was it was obviously a huge event. You're talking about 400 cars over th 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 um, uh, th four days. You said four days. Four days. Uh, uh, Three hundred classes, classes over four, four days. days. Um, yeah. What, we were, what was what was it like? Your your time on stage. Okay. So just before I go on stage, I have a I wouldn't say a breakdown, but I have cold sweats. I've, I've never <laughs> I've never experienced this before. I thought, what and what is going on? Well, like a and panic attack. <laughs> almost, almost. And now, I've competed 16, 18 times. I'm quite experienced. <laughs> so, anyway, so, the only thing I can put it down to is, you know, I'm not getting any younger. This is probably not my last shot at it. Not now. Now I've turned pro. This is what you're thinking. I'm thinking that it might be, you know, a little bit overwhelming. Uh, anyway, my son, Sam, was brilliant. Calm down, took me through some breathing exercises, slowed the heart rate down, got me on stage. So, um, yeah, so, we, so we're standing inside a stage. I was standing behind Roberto, last year's champion. So, go on stage, and uh, 16 of us, through the compulsories, and I'll be honest, I think, I thought I posed the worst I've ever posed. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't, but when I look back at the shots, I was, I was okay. You were nailing the pose. I was, I was okay. I know for a fact I was first in the, into the pose and last out of the pose because I've seen all the shots. There's still guys transitioning when I'm hitting the poses. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I've got my son, you know, because my when <laughs> my glutes are in. Yeah. But if I don't tense my, I, if I tense my glutes, my hamstrings drop out. Yeah. So I've got the Sam shouting in the crowd, hamstrings, hamstrings. <laughs> and it, I cut back, so I, I did okay. So 16 of us. And then they whittle that down to 10. So, uh, you know, they took us through the compulsions re relatively quick. You know, there was no call outs. So this is basically cut, cut going from 16 to 10. So, you know, relatively quick uh, posing round uh, and then off stage. So we, we then go off stage. Uh, another category comes on to allow the judges to collate the scores, etc. And then they call the top 10. I'm in it. Prior to that, Sam and Martin meet me backstage. They both looked me in the eye and said, you've got this, but you've got to work hard. Yeah. And that's the first <laughs> time I start to believe. I start to believe. So I go on and I pose as hard as I've ever done. <laughs> Posing's hard. Now, Posing's hard. Okay, people say you're being judged when you stand at the side. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we all hear that. We don't always believe it. yeah. There was a lineup of 13 international judges. And I, that's <laughs> never been true. Every, I know for, there were certainly six judges who were like... I'm all in the side, the guys in the side. Looking at, looking at me. <laughs> I never let my legs drop once. Wow. And they were burning. It's like posing's hard. Yeah. Posing's hard. But, so I, uh, I was posing so, so, so hard. I was just thinking six years work, 20, 20 weeks prep. For this half an hour don't let it drop don't <laughs> let it drop and, and to be fair i didn't so it was so 
Uh, and then there was quick <coughs> call outs. First call out, centre stage. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the best feeling you can get. I remember after a couple of rounds. I remember when 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 I was I, I I was fourth in the British. I got first call out, and that was you know that was one of my highlights of my career. Yeah. And then obviously, like I say, first call out in the world, centre stage. Uh, again, through the compulsory compulsory is relatively quick. I felt I, be, I posed better then. No. Uh, you know, more relaxed, more relaxed. Uh, so you know, and uh, again, relatively quick. But I know we were judged fairly and and, and really harshly. Harsh is the wrong word, but but, know, but they, 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 very they, detailed. It's it's it, it, it's it's the world championships. It's yeah. not. I mean, that it's stage was sixty five meters long. You know that at times that to fit forty athletes. Yeah. It was massive. It was massive. So um, we go off stage and then it's top six back on. Now top six <laughs> is just for posing routines, which in the IFBB is marked. Yeah. Not my strong point. Compulsories are my strong point. <laughs> yeah. Not 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 that. I, uh, you know, <laughs> no disrespect. I'm not a black man. I, I, I haven't got flow. I, I, you it's know, nice. it's, 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 <laughs> you've got rhythm. We, uh, that's why, guys. We, we we don't have rhythm, man. You know. Uh, so uh, it's not my not my strong point. So uh, anyway, we go off. Say, I'm in the top six. Well, so th this this is real stuff now. So I go through the routine. I messed my routine up. It didn't flow, no. but I freestyle it. And I'm better when I freestyle it. Yeah. So I did my routine, come off, and then the most surreal moment of my life. So the the, the top six, we're, we're, it's now a war ceremony. <laughs> so top six, stand inside a stage. So I'm in the middle of the six, waiting to go up the steps onto the stage to, to pick up our trophies. Um, Martin Kelly walks alongside me but doesn't look me in the eye, walks straight past me. <laughs> now, Martin is the UK delegate judge. Yeah. Uh, most, most people know him. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. Him, and uh, he goes up onto stage and I think, he's not been up on stage all day. Has he had the call? <laughs> <laughs> and a, a tingle went down my spine. I think he's going to present it to the UK athlete. So I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> I think this is it. This could be it. I, I, that's the moment I really believed. That's the moment I really believe. Martin, and, and afterwards, Martin said, I couldn't look you, I couldn't turn, I couldn't look you because I got the call to present it to you. That's special. Special. That's, they, 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 those are the little moments where, you know, it, it, you, you, you and probably a couple of people around you that are close, little moments like that that you'll ever really sort of know about. No. Like, and we're, we're, no. We're, we're, we're sort of hearing it. I'm, I'm right in. So he's walked past you, you're there, and it's, 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 it's all getting a bit... What, what 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 happened? So we we go onto stage and then six athletes all at the back and uh, so they call out in sixth place. Uh, I forget the guy's name, but from Greece. So and he was a great physique. Yeah. He flowed. He had a great physique. I thought he probably should have placed a little bit higher, but uh, great. Uh, sixth, fifth. Uh, uh, I forget who was in fifth. Fourth place was a guy from from Spain. And then uh, announce so that that leaves the top three. So top three was Rafa Vieira. <laughs> Fantastic for I mean, me. He's one of the best. He's, he's one, one of the honestly, best. really, really. Oh no, sorry. Fourth place was Jean Dulan uh, from France, who came second to me in the army. So I thought, well, he came second. <laughs> that leaves three good athletes. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm one of them. You know, I've beaten Raphael before, but I haven't beat Eric Gers. Eric Gers yeah, beat me yeah. previously. Eric Gers has beat me. So, uh, Raphael, so then they called Raphael out in bronze medal. Martin came up on stage, didn't he? So I thought, okay, okay, okay. And then the longest 30 seconds of my life. Uh, so they, 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 there's, they, there's myself and Eric uh, standing next to each other. Now, I remember how this goes. They always call it out. So and runner up in the world championships and they named the country and the athlete. Yeah. I was well expected in runner up place from UK, Nick Swan. And I was expecting it. <laughs> so all I wanted to hear was the word France. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. And uh, and then it happened. They uh, they say and in second and runner up in the world's was is uh, 
from France's ah. NHS. <laughs> and I just thought, what? What has just happened? You know, what has just happened? And it was like, um, yeah, again, tears, just emotion and what have you. And uh, stepped forward to sta in front of stage and who was there? Martin. And Martin just looked <laughs> me in the eye, put the medal around me and, they, and said two words, world champion. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so uh, then the, all all the officials and Martin go behind the athletes, and uh, they play the national anthem. <laughs> Again, I mean, I've never, you know, it's always been on my bucket list to be a world champion and to have the national anthem to play yeah. is, is yeah. a bit special. So your, your country's national anthem, you're you're there as an ambassador, <laughs> and I did say, you know, I mean, as as ambassadors. Um, yourself, Cassandra, have just been exemplary. Thank you. Um, Thank you. It's, it's, it's been brilliant to see. I think I think I found out you posted something on on Instagram, and you literally just said, um, who, "Who would have thought world champion?" It was only about 10, 10 15 second thing, and I thought, oh, "Come on, really? It's got to be more than that." Like, listen, I think you were still you were still trying well, to let it sink in. I came off stage, and and, and I thought, you know, I've done videos when I come off stage first before and I've thanked people and what have you I thought it was it was 12 midnight yeah it was late, it was late. so it was I, had some early, yeah. I had some photographs with Martin and the family you know and, and I literally came off stage and I said uh, just come off stage I've been world champion <laughs> enough said and, and you know you, you don't get any better it doesn't get any better so they play the national anthem and then Martin walked around the front again look, looks me in the eye and said world champ and walks off and then of course you get all the photographs yeah, yeah. you know with with the other guys and i have to say compliments to the other guys eric gers shut me out Rafael, you know in the masters there's that respect yeah yeah there's that respect i'm not saying you don't get it in other categories but you know the old guys you know we respect each other we know how tough you, it is you know it is yeah you, you know, know how tough it is so you know it was you know, there's that camaraderie you know i'm i've got international bodybuilding friends all over the world now you know Roberto's a good friend Carlos Caballero <laughs> when I won the Arnolds he won the over 50s Carlos Caballero he got the biggest gym in Seville trained there for free well you know uh, I've got friends in Italy Spain you know uh, Brazil I've got friends in you know that camaraderie I've got friends literally worldwide now was and then uh, you know Remind me to tell you the following day. Well, I'll tell you now. So the following day, you know, uh, I've had invites from Switzerland, uh, Iran, wow. and uh, Georgia from the judges and the presidents to go over. Fantastic. And, and guest pose and, you know, be, be their guest. Fantastic. I, I, I think this is... I, I, I think, like, it's easy. It's easy. Um, until you sort of until you sort of hear, hear, hear yourself saying it, it's sort of easy to gloss over... Just how phenomenal what you're saying is, <laughs> what you've done now. Just how phenomenal. I don't it is. think people realise the magnitude of the IFBB and that show. It was. <laughs> you, you're sitting there with world championship trophy. Um, you've got the the, the, the <laughs> you could hold it up to. I mean, you you. I, I said it before. It, it, it is like the Olympics of bodybuilding. Like you're saying, the scale of it. Um, the only route to get to that IFBB Worlds is through the UK BFF. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. You you you've gone through that. They 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 the UK BFF have flown you out. So I'm, I'm a little plug in. They they've flown you out. They've, they they believe in you. You you know there's that weight of expectation that you've had to, to, sure. to carry. Sure. And and then you not only sort of faced every sort of challenge, every sort of difficulty, and, and you, you, you've come out, and and they've played the the God Save the Queen. And 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 they they played it for you. They played it for your achievements. Yeah, I, you, you can't gloss over just how incredible that is. And that's what we wanted to. That's why we were so excited. So so I saw the post you said world champion. And I said, I said hang on a minute. There's, quite, there's a few more. There's a little bit more to say, mate. Just because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't gloss over the fact of of the, the, the magnitude of what you've it done. Is. Massive, well done. Um, Thank you, Z. And it's it's, it's 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 so inspirational for us. I'm, I'm looking at this. I can't if I, if I start training now. <laughs> um, There's a gym next door. Come on, man. Legs. Um, just massive well done, mate. And I, and I hope 
you guys watching this, you you, you you listen to what what Nick said and you let it sort of sink in is just to how phenomenal it is. Um, you know, I I hope I hope that comes across in the message. So you're saying so the next day, you know, like it's it's all sort of a buzz. Like I, I keep cutting you off and I don't mean No, no, please. But I'm just sort of like things sort of keep popping in my head because I'm because I, I I'm, I've got your that's your time like I'm, I was sitting at home about it was about two three in the morning I got like just scrolling just, yeah. so I was like looking at I was like, I was like looking at it, I was like get in um, so 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 you just want it like fantastic fantastic what was Sam thinking was he like buzzing around uh, it was it, it, <coughs> it, he he had my back from the minute I went backstage the minute I stepped off stage yeah. he's a competitive bodybuilder himself he yeah. knows what it takes. And uh, you know he, you know he, he he knew what the magnitude of it, and he was absolutely made up of it. He's not a guy who shows his emotions a lot, but I knew deep down, yeah, it, it meant a lot, yeah, it meant a lot. So came off stage, and uh, Martin was there again, you know, to congratulate me. And then I went round the front of the stage, and it was just big hugs and tears with the family. You know, my <laughs> wife, my wife Linda flew out the day before. Well. Saw me compete, then flew back because you had to get back for the business. Yeah. So you know, shout out to Linda not only for prepping <laughs> that, but also for uh, you know the uh, uh, you know flying out there, especially just for that occasion. Yeah. And then uh, That's fantastic. The, That's the following, yeah. So literally, because it was that late at night, it was literally back to the hotel room, yeah. a warm Estrella and a cookie, and to, you know, shower <laughs> and to bed. That was it, because I knew I'd got a celebration of a holiday coming up. That's it. That's uh, it. So, you know, try and condense this a little, a little bit. It, so, uh, you know, the following day, it was like, I didn't get to bed till two o'clock. I was back up at five in the morning, absolutely buzzing <laughs> still. Down for breakfast, trophy and medal, you know, on the table for, with the rest of the UK team, you know. And, uh, you know, and, you know it, it was like, you walk through the hotel and everybody's like, wow, well done, well done. You know, more judges' compliments, more invites to different oh, countries. That's, 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 that's. You know, and it's just crazy. Uh, and then, uh, excuse me. So, uh, no, no, you are, you are. Yeah. Oh, well, I can chop chop some right. pieces out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So he's down to the hotel, uh, to the breakfast, to the, you know, and, he, and share share the, share the breakfast with the trophy and the medal on the table with the team. You know, more invites to the uh, to different countries. And then, uh, you know, uh, the Friday I go back to the venue to support my colleagues, you know, uh, Cassandra and, uh, yeah. and, and Anne and watch them compete. Um, and it's just nice to go back to the venue and relive it, relive that moment. So is it, would you say it's a real team feel? Oh, is, is, is that, amazing. I mean, you know, you've got Martin overseeing it all, but then it's like, you know, Anne... You know, Cassandra, Richard Reader, all all the guys. You know, we train together out there. You know, we support team fit one hundred percent. You know, I've just said. You know, Cassandra paying for my last gym session because she wanted to say she paid for the world championships, and I don't mind telling you. Um, <laughs> I'll put it on my Facebook post. I sat next to Cassandra the day after in the in the auditorium watching the watching all the other classes, mm. and I said, still hasn't sunk sunk in, Cassandra. You know. I can't be a world champion. You know, this guy from Stamford, you know, town of 25,000, <laughs> just beat 12 different countries, you know, 16 No, 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 no small lineup either. It was oh, it, it, <laughs> it, 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 insane it lineup. And I broke, I broke down into tears. No. And we had sorry, a, I didn't mean to laugh. No, 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 no sorry, not at all. I wasn't laughing, it was like a reaction. No, no, and, we, and, and who was there to give me a big hug? Cassandra. We're, we are best buddies. Yeah. I, I call her my international gym buddy. Yeah. And we are best buddies. She's ace. She's ace. Oh, she, she's a diamond girl. Cassandra? <laughs> Big shot. Yeah. Like we, we tried to get you both in at the same time, but she, she's worth yeah, solid. Yeah, she's worth she, yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's, like, that, that's a nice little story. I mean, so she was a shoulder to cry. She was a shoulder to cry. <laughs> 100%. 100%. And then it was basically, that was the Friday. And... Uh, so on the Saturday, Sam and I checked out, and then we uh, we had a nine-day tour of Spain to celebrate. That's nice. That's nice. So there is no better. Well, going there was there was one one good feeling walking around Seville, two times ta- two times Arnold Classic champion with a medal around your <laughs> neck, and some random Polish guy saying, "Arnie, come over here, let's do shots." <laughs> Saturday afternoon, that was a bit, you know, and it was that was good. But then, you know, this was even better to, 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 
to share the world championship victory with a with a tour of uh, northern yeah. Spain with your son, and we visited the Pyrenees, uh, Benescu, Ainsa, and then we went down to the beautiful 11th century uh, city of Zaragoza, and then stopping off on the way to see beautiful places, ending up in Madrid. And we smashed the hell out of tapas bars. <laughs> uh, How much have you eaten in the space of well, that, that, from stepping off stage till today? How much have you? You said you eat a lot. Right. Try and run me through a little bit of what you've eaten, because I don't see where it's gone well, personally. I mean, I'm, I, you know, you'll see from the photo shoot pictures. I've still got abs and I'm still in shape, and I don't know how because. I've eaten anything and everything. I've drank <laughs> so much beer, red wine, paella, I mean, T-bone steaks, tapas till, till it's come out, cakes, you know, fajitas, you, you name it, breakfast, fry-ups, the lot. Where is I, it all going? Over 14 days, and I, I checked my weight this morning, 93.3. <laughs> I'm 0.3 above my stage weight. I think I'll put it down to the fact we walked miles in yeah, uh, yeah. in Spain. We did walk miles. So maybe I should do a bit of cardio in the future. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. I mean, like, to, to be honest, you, you deserve it. Why, why not? Well, yeah. I, I think that's quite a nice thing about competing with, with obviously, the IFPB. The venues. <coughs> the venues. So, so you're out in Spain, you might as well throw in... Like, you, no one has to take a sort of nine-day holiday or whatever. You can no. take, like, a weekend. Like, if you're yeah. competing... The, the Friday, Thursday, Friday, you can take a weekend and, and take a long week off. So, I mean, how much, you know, as an ambassador, I sit and I, and I think, <coughs> because I'm looking at this sport thinking, you know, if, if, I, I think a lot of people at the moment from a lot of bodybuilders I speak to want to compete abroad. Um, they, there's obviously, you know, I, I don't want to get bogged down into the politics, but I, I want, oh, I yeah. want people to, to understand this is, you, the IFBB and the IFBB Pro League are very separate. Yeah. You competed with the IFBB, which is the the biggest, which is the biggest body. Um, the only route, to, the only route to to compete internationally abroad with with the IFBB and not the Pro League necessarily. And this is a little bit nuanced. Is to go through the UK BFF shop. Correct. So, so how? how would you recommend if if anyone's watching and they want to to experience some of the stuff you've experienced? Um, how much would you recommend doing a UK BFF show? Um, getting in touch with Sugar and and, and and all the team to 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 get registered for a show next year. Um, how much? I mean, how much would you recommend doing a UK BFF show and then knowing that there's such an international um, opportunity there, guys? You you don't necessarily have to go fly to to to. to I don't know um, where are they Norway or Scandinavia oh, yeah, like, yeah. to, 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 to try and get these pro cards and then spend you can literally compete with the UK BFF com qualify to compete abroad and, and be in next position set here. Um, how much would you recommend that route um, for athletes now because I, I think it, it, more athletes need to know about it if, if, if yeah. that makes sense it's a bit of a loaded question but if that no, makes no no and <coughs> again I, I, I want to be you know, I have to be kept, well. I don't know whether I have to be kept too careful as a, you know, p politically. But uh, you know, I'll recommend 100% without a shadow of doubt. Take the UK BFF route. You know, um, they've got some big plans this year coming yeah. up. There's a lot more qualifiers. Obviously, last year was a diff you know diff yeah, difficult with the COVID situation. Uh, but you know, they look after you. You know, you you be loyal to them. You know, they'll look after you. Now. You know, with regards to the loyalty thing, you know, they've opened it up now. You know, if you've competed with other federations, That's good. you can That's come good. back to the UK BFF. They will welcome you. You know, I've had friends, you know, look at my story, as you've said, and already contact me and say, Nick, I'm going to compete with the UK BFF next year. Yeah. I mentioned one, Andy Lawley. Yeah, I know Andy. Andy, Andy. Andy. He, you know, he's, Cracking physique. Cracking he's turning physique. 60. Cracking so physique. Andy's going to, you know, he's coming on board, you know. So, That's you know, you know, and, and yes, you compete, you know, so the weekend of Seville, that, my wife went out, we had a great weekend. Yes, we had a nice long holiday after that, but the IFBB, you know, they compete in, you know, some great great places around the world, you know, and, you know, I, I'd, I'd recommend it. They'd look after you 100%. You know, you've got to earn the right, you know, you've got to win the shows, you've got to, you know, they're not going to send you if you're, you're, <laughs> you're, 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 not, you're not, not the required, required standard, you know, but, you know, uh, I will say, you know, other federations, you you know, they issue pro cards like confetti, you know. Uh, they, they, 
you know, they you go to world championships mm. the in in Scandinavian countries in in you know world championships in Birmingham with with two or three countries. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. It's the, 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 the scale. The, the it's scale not the same. It's not the same. You know, just Google Rafael Santaja and the IFBB and, and, and learn about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. as I say, 197 affiliated countries. It is humongous. It's massive. You know, and it, it's done properly. And that's the reason I've gone this route. And shout out again to Brandon Marjoram. He said, you know, Go, always challenge yourself. Don't be a trophy hunter. So I've gone from a, a UK BFF qualifier to a British final to an Arnold Classic champion to a world champion. Yeah. Right? I've always challenged myself. But I've always challenged myself in the UK BFF because I know it feeds in to the best federation. Fantastic. And then once you win that, you can then generally say, I'm the best over 60s on the planet. Yeah. If I'd have won an over 60s world championship with no disrespect to the other federations, yeah. I'd have always said, well, in my mind, I've always thought, you know, it's not an IFBB. Mm. It's not an IFBB. It's not the best. Yeah. Now I can say it's the best. Yeah, yeah. I'm a true over 60s World Masters champion. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> mate, um, mate it's, it's been absolutely brilliant to speak to you. This is, this is, this is, because I had like, there were so many questions I had, and it's it, like everything's been almost ticked off in my head. We've probably um, missed a few. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I, you know, with, with, with the time, with the time allowed, um, you, you've obviously taken your pro card as well. Yeah, um, so just recently. So, so I'd like to know, obviously, in, with, with that, in, in that, like, what were your plans for the future? What are you thinking now? What's next? What's, yeah, what's good, the, great question. So, uh, I've got three things I want to do. Uh, I've already mentioned I, you know, I want to take take up my judging uh, qualification with the UK BFF. Uh, you know, I want to. Uh, I w well, I want to do a bit of prep coaching. Yeah. Uh, I have a little bit of beef, uh, beef uh, <laughs> in, 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 in my bonnet about some of these online prep coaches. What, what in particular? Let's hear it then. So you see, you see people. You know, taking athletes and you know dieting them to death. Yeah. You know, and and over video conferences and not actually meeting up and seeing them and yeah, yeah. you know you know taking extortionate amounts of it's, it's, it's money. It's the trend, isn't it? It's, it's the like trend, yeah. Answer. And people who have never, you know, there's one guy who competed once, <laughs> and he, he's got an online prep business. You know, a global online prep business. Come on. So now I've I've got the world champions. I, I've got a lot of knowledge, but yeah. more importantly, I want to give that back. Yeah, yeah. So I like that. I like. That. I want to give that back. So this next year, I'm going to prep two people, only two. I'm going wow. to do it free of charge. Well, wow. free of charge, and I'm, I want to do somebody who has got got the right mentality, the right focus. And have you chosen the people? I've got one. Yeah. 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 I don't want to say who it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. But I've chosen one. I need it. I, I, I've, I've chosen one. I've cho I, yeah. Are you, so, so you choosing the athlete? I'm choosing the athlete. Yeah, and I want to do do that. A to go through that experience of, of that, and also give something back. So the judging, the prep, and then onto the, the the pro. I was really humbled that you know the president Raphael gave me a personal invite. To the pro show in Portugal this weekend. Now, for reasons, you know, business reasons, I got business commitments. I couldn't make that. Also, family commitments. We, yeah. you know, we go, we go to the NEC festive gift fair, and I, yeah. I think after all I've taken out of the family, I think <laughs> for me to go and do another show in Portugal, yeah. it would have been nice because I'm still in shape. I'm yeah. going to diet again. You know, I think it's only fair to the family that I, I honour that commitment. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I honour that commitment. So it means dieting. So I'm going to do the. Uh, do one of the, the early pro shows next year, yeah. uh, wherever that may be in the world. Uh, you know, when it was an over 40s category, I thought, is it worth it? But now there's a Masters 40, 50. Yeah, okay, I'm 60, but I've beaten over 50s yeah, yeah. in the overall at the World Championship. I, 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 so I, I, I know I can be competitive. So people might say, 60 as a pro? No, I, I, I'm not 60. Mate, I, that's that's literally one of the things 
Like, I, I literally think when I look at your physique, I'm like, that's not, like, I'm looking at the man thinking, he must have, like, that's not a 60-year-old's physique. That's, you're talking, like, mid-30s to 40s, like, mate, that's, it's incredible. <coughs> your muscle belly, your, your shape, your fullness, your roundness, your, your condition, I'm thinking, that's not, hang on a minute, like, I was, like, trying to figure it out, like, can anyone work this out, can anyone explain to me? So I definitely think you can be, competitive sorry i can keep cutting you off no no um, you're saying the things i i would say anyway z uh, um, but it, <laughs> I, I i don't it's better coming from you because it seems a little bit you know cocky only because I, I i see so many i watch so many bodybuilders and i'm like thinking this this like masters over 35 like bodybuilders might like masters like 40 year old bodybuilders that don't even look ashamed of it. It's like, I see it because I'm, I'm doing this. It's just, I think you're plenty of aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, it is really impressive. I think a combination really of impressive. getting into the sport like, <laughs> late, I've got a fresh physique, training smart, you know, heavy but smart, taking the rest periods, you know, uh, eating the right things, sorting out my digestion, you know, not overdoing, you know, the, the special supplements. You know, just less, <coughs> less is more in, yeah. in, within that regard, you know, uh, and, you know, just looking after yourself, looking after yourself, you know, but still training hard. One of the things that goes as, as a matter is your legs, yeah. you know, I'll train legs with anybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like to, I like using my legs. I like walking around. I don't. I don't. Because uh, I think Cassandra was saying she she trains with Nick Papper and, and uh, Zach and all those guys at Hopping Hounds. She she invited me to train legs. And I was like, no, thank you. Because <laughs> there's, there's well, some people you can tell like no. you've got this look in their eye when they say they want to train legs. It's like no, don't don't <laughs> train with Cassandra. <laughs> no. I went down. Uh, was it before or after the Arnold's? After the Arnold's, I went down <laughs> to, to show Zach my trophy and down there, and I had a shoulder session with Cassandra. <laughs> she handed me my ass. <laughs> We'd started with side laterals. Yeah. She was banging out 20 kilos side lateral for about 20 reps. I thought, I need to up Hang my- Hang on a minute. I need to up my game here. It's like, <laughs> what, what? It was probably the best shoulder workout I'd ever had. That's I ended brilliant. up stacking a couple of machines and Nick Papa was pretty impressed. <laughs> but it was Cass who actually yeah. said, look, come on, Nick, we're here to train. So <laughs> I that, can believe that. I that believe girl that. is special. She, she's brilliant. We, 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 we'll have her on as well. Like, uh, you guys will probably see it. But Nick, like, honestly, like, um, I, I know you've got a debt. Mate, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so grateful, um, so humbled to, that you, you've, you've just taken the time out of your busy schedule to come down here. Um, it's, it's been so incredible for us to watch. I, I think, you know, the, the social media response you've, you've had, and it's, it's, for, for us, it was just like, um, it was one of the interviews. There, there's a few interviews, there's Cassandra, there's a few interviews that I thought this season we have to get, and we, we're, we're going to get, we're going to let the season play out a bit, and this is one of them. Um, so, mate, absolutely brilliant. Um, thank you, Zay. Um, thank you. That, that we could get you down there. Um, I, I, I appreciate it so much. It's, it's been, it's been such a whirlwind just watching it. So I don't know what it's been like for you. It, it's been amazing. I mean, it, 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 it is a dream come true. It genuinely is a dream come true. Um, you know, final shout out to the UK BFF because yeah. the, without them, you know, they gave me the platform to make this happen. You know, so final shout out to them. Um, Thanks to everybody who's supporting me. Go on my Facebook post. It, it's about 16 pages long. I, I apologise <laughs> for that. There's a few thank yous on there. You know, yeah, but this could thanks to everybody who's supporting me. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's, it, it's it's immense. You know, it doesn't get any bigger than, than this. Uh, it really doesn't. And you know, um, I'm waffling on now, but no, you know, no. Thanks for thanks for inviting me down, Z. Um, uh, you know, it's, guys, guys, you know, I, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this interview. Um, Nick Swan, um, true ambassador of British bodybuilding, true inspiration. Um, just been brilliant to have him down here at Beef Headquarters. Um, mate, I, I, I'm still so buzzing that we managed to get this get this done. But guys, like you said, really, really look into that UK BFF opportunity. This this man's, yeah. you know, he's, he's right there. He, he's, he's sort of living proof of it. But for now, guys, thank you for tuning in to UK Beef TV. Next one, uh, your IFBB World Championship, IFBB Elite Pro. Um, Guys, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.